Today, I am at Little Bennett Campground in Montgomery County, Maryland. There is so much to see and do. I'm gonna take you all around the campground to make sure that you know exactly what to expect and that your visit there is a success. The first thing you need to know is that it is not open to the public. You need to make a reservation in order to gain access through these security gates. Little Bennett is one of two campgrounds in Montgomery County and they don't do just tent camping. They do RVs, Eurex, and cabin. I'm gonna tell you exactly how much they cost and you'll know exactly what to expect. Let's start out by exploring a campsite. Now, no matter what campsite you rent, it comes with a few basic things. The first is a picnic table. Then it comes with a fire pit. It also comes with a pole hook so that you can hang a lantern. And all the tent campsites come with a flat pad so that you can put your tent. If you are new to camping, the bathroom is gonna be a big deal. They're also called comfort stations. And we're gonna take a look inside the comfort stations so that you can know exactly what you're going to get. It's going to look like your basic public restroom with the exception of a shower stall. It's a curtain shower stall, so there's not a tremendous amount of privacy, but it gives you enough where you can get fresh uh, refresh for the day and the best thing about this campsite is the water is hot. One of the things I like about these comfort station is that it has a skylight roof so it lets natural light comes in. At nighttime it also has electrical lights. Now let's head on over to the group campsite. There are two of these on the property and they hold as many as 60 individuals. They're not that expensive considering how many people can camp here. They're about maybe $200 or so. Personally, I prefer the group campsite at the front entrance. It has this great bounce pillow. It has the pedal cart go track and it has this nice fire ring and a nice flat area and this you know, self teepee. The campsite in the very back is also a group campsite but it has a basketball court and a playground. So it depends on the, the group that you're with, you know, they may like one over the other. But for me personally, I tend to like the one at the very front. Most folks go camping to get away from nature, uh, to do something that's different, uh, maybe to get some exercise and some fresh air. And Little Bennett has miles and miles of hiking trails. So if that's what you're looking for, there's tons of it here at Little Bennett. We're going to take a stroll and look around at some campsites. And this is typically what you'll find. You'll find one or two cars at a campsite, a tent, and uh, maybe a table and a bunch of things on the table and people just sitting around having fun. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Little Bennett is not just a tent campsite. These are cabins that are available. It also has York, and we're gonna take a look at that a little bit later. And there were a lot of RVs. Now, I think the people who were in the RV se section were far more sociable than say the people who were in the tent campsite. It really depends on who's there. Some people wanna be left alone. Others wanna socialize and interact and talk and share food and sit around the campsites and have conversations. So it really just depends on who's there when you go. This is what a yurt looks like on the outside. On the inside, it's just a bunch of bunk beds. There's nothing more to this than basically a place to get a little bit out of the cold and also to get out of the elements. This is what the RV campsite looks like. I think they're really professionally done. These people here are professional campers and they tend to gather and talk and have fun. I think if you're an RV camper, you're gonna like camping here at Little Bennett. Little Bennett also has a camp store that sells little snacks and comfort things in case you forgot them. The best thing about this store is that the back of it, there's a nice amphitheater and a nice lawn, a nice lounge area. So if you wanna to get together with a group and just kinda of hang and chill out, this area right here looks a lot better than it comes across in the photo. I've been to this amphitheater many times. I've never, ever seen a performance. I 
didn't find this out until recently, but Little Bennett has a laundry room and it's $1.75 for you know the dryer and the washer, but it's pretty nice. It has an area to fold clothes and this is more for those who are campers, but the laundry room services available is pretty nice. They also added a laser tag area. You can rent the guns in the uh, camp store and I think it's kind of fun, especially if you have a group of kids that wanna you know do something a little bit different other than going on a long hike. For those of you who are still with us, I always like to advertise my HMO special that's helped me out and you can do that by subscribing. If you watched it this far, that means you must like the content. I specialize in fun things to do in and around the DC metro area. Thanks for being with me today.